FJX Pop Guy here. And GVG Collectibles. It is Wednesday, so you know what that means. It is what What's in the Box Wednesday. So today, uh, we both actually have some packages. Not mm -hmm. all me today. We're actually pretty pretty even on the packages. I, I have four, he has three. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we're just going to hop right into it. I'm going to start off with a mystery box. There's actually two mystery boxes. Um, they're both from a couple I've never bought for before. I recently found them on Instagram. It's called Grails Gone Wild. They're in California. Um, this is a $30 damage box. Like, I don't know if it's guaranteed value. I think it is. Mm -hmm. um, there's, it's pretty much, there's no commons, which is good. And like some of the top hits are General Grievous, Bane, um, Captain Cutler, a few other things. So I have two of these. Captain, Captain Cutler from a, um, Scooby-Doo. Oh, okay, okay. I was like... Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a glow in the dark. I think it's glow in the dark. Now, is it actually Scooby Doo? Is it from the movies? The new movie Scooby's? It's from the animation. I'll do okay. All right, we got first one here. We got two of these. Go ahead and open this up. I don't really know what to expect. Ooh. Who be this? Who be this? Who be this? Who be this? Well, that's why it was wrapped, so at least you gotta give it a plate. Oh, we oh. reused that bubble wrap. Oh, wait. It looks like we have... It is Slave Leia, who's <laughs> kind of fallen out of the box. This is a, this is a damage mystery box. Um, so, um, I'm assuming the damage on this one is that it is kind of... The, the head is kind of messed up, but... It looks like it's fallen off the base, too. But that's something you can actually easily fix. Mm -hmm. Start with um, But yeah, pretty cool pop. I don't know what it's worth. Um, if you want to go ahead and hold that for me, I'm gonna pull up Pop Price oh. Guide. Take a look at it. There's actually some dings in the box too. Oh, um, I mean, if you like, put that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was on TikTok. Uh, I mean, if you act, like, if you open the box up, you probably put her head back, like her body. Back. No, yeah, there's no doubt I can. Um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm worried about it. That's some. That's, that's an easy fix. It's one of those things where the company could do it. They just choose not to because they could potentially, like, they don't want to do any damage. 2012. Yep. Slave Leia. I forget, like, how kind of minimalist the Let's go these S boxes down. are comparative to, like, the newer ones. For no, old. that's not right. That's not right. What? That's not right. No way. What? No way. Wait, and it's that one, right? That's the only one there. That's the only... No freaking way. This is a $130 pop. What? What? Let, let, let me take a look here. Was this even one of the top polls? It doesn't look like this is one of the top polls. I mean, it's 2012, so it's definitely... Is it one of the... It's not even one of the top polls. Weird. Interesting. That is crazy. I wonder if... It, I don't know if it just... It recently went up $35. So I'm going to take a look at it. Let me, let, let me just double check this. I mean, it's still... There's, there's most recent sales one hundred forty dollars, but the one previous before that was ninety. So it's at least a ninety dollar pop. We're gonna say it's like hundred dollars. I'm not gonna say hundred thirty, but like hundred hundred dollars, one hundred thirty. Let me let me look on eBay, see what That's they're crazy. listed at. That's crazy. And this is not. It doesn't look like it's a reissue, is it? No, that that it's a twenty twelve pop. That's that's when it came out. The okay. re, even the reissues have. Um, Year. The updated year, so if it were like, say they were to re redo a new one like this year, it would still say 20 on the box. Slave. Wow. Slave like that. That is crazy. Wow. Uh, they're posted from anywhere from. That one's fake, that's funny. Um, yeah, they're posted from anywhere to 100 to $120 by tell, now. How can you tell if it's a fake one? It just looked, it just looked off. It looked like it was. Oh, like the paint and everything. But yeah, Princess Leia. According to PPG, $130. That is a crazy, crazy hit. We got one more of these things left. I'm liking this company already. That that's kind of funny. That is crazy. That was not expected He's at like, all. He's like, he can't be serious, right? He's like, he can't be serious. That's yeah, no. Alright, wow. But it is what it is. <laughs> Last pop here. We only ordered two. Uh, first time ordering from. I only one order two. This is a pop I've never seen before. 
Uh, it's in a protector. I think maybe they ship all theirs in protectors, which I'm a fan of because you get a free protector out of it. <laughs> it oh, is the Zorn. Son of Zorn. Zorn. Um, is it Zorn from the Son of Zorn? I don't know anything about this pop. It's a 2016 it's, it, pop. I don't know anything about the show. It's for, Basically, it's about a show about this, like, he-man looking dude who had a, a fling with, like, a, a, a chick. And they end up having a son, and he's kind of living in the past of being, like, kind of like this he-man kind of character. And he wants to actually try to be, like, a dad with, like, his son who's in live act. It was, like, a weird series. I think it, it got canceled. I know that. I think, uh... If I'm going to guess anything, it was, uh, this was a Seth MacFarlane venture. This was definitely... Wow, if this is correct, this is only worth $4. Really? Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. So we got a hundred... We got a hundred and thirty dollar pop and a four dollar pop. Well, you got your... How much was... That I, I paid sixty total. I paid sixty nine dollars for shipping. So I got my value out of Princess Leia. <laughs> that's insane. That's crazy. So total value, uh, $135. I don't even gotta put it up. It's 100, 134. But that is crazy. That wasn't expected. That pop, um, I'll probably like if you buy something from me on my card, I might just throw that in your box for free because it's really not worth anything, and I don't really want to take the pictures of it. But <laughs> so um, it might end up in your box. You know, all the all the hardcore Zorn fans. Yeah, all five of them. All right, next thing we have, I have two McCard pickups today. This is the first one. Um, Wait, did you? Oh, it, were those the only two mystery boxes? Yep. Oh. I'm so oh, this is not, this is not from uh, McCard. Sorry. This was something I picked up on Whatnot, um, a Whatnot auction. I accidentally put a bid in for this, and it won. So, it's, I have it now. Um, but it's the San Diego oh. Comic Con exclusive Black Lightning, the 3,000 piece limited edition. So, uh, yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty cool. Um, I don't know anything about Black Lightning. He's in the DC, he's DC character. I know that. Um, but yeah, I bought this on accident. I, I, uh, not my proudest moment. I paid like $30 over PPG at the time. I think it's only like $20 now. But, you know, it's all right. Um, I might keep it for a little while. It's, pretty, it's a pretty cool pop. It's a pretty cool pop. Yeah. I haven't seen the show, but... I haven't either. But yeah, it's cool. I'm not mad. I'm like, yeah, it's okay. It's like, okay. It's okay. Yeah. Um, next one. I want to show off the packing. Like, uh, I don't even know what to say about this. It's like wrapped in... Well, it's weird. Newspaper. It's weird. It has there's Etsy also, tape on it. Yeah, because there's actually like a box. Like an actual like kind of white box under it. So it's very... Yeah, I just don't know why they would wrap it in the... Uh, I don't know. Water dam water protection. Uh, I mean, it's newspaper. What's it gonna do? I don't know. <coughs> Sorry, guys. He got the Rona. Right. And they use newspaper I for the stuffing. Oh God. And no pop protector. Uh oh. Nice. This box is damaged. Well. Wow. Oh no. I think it was damaged on there, I just didn't read it. But... Is this for the Macari? Yep. Macari pickup. It's the Wolfman. Yeah, Wolfman. Your Lon Universal Chini. Monster. Lonchini Jr. Sorry. Yeah, Wolfman. Uh, I'm starting to collect some of the Universal Monsters. I have the, the Glow in the Dark. Um, uh, Creature from Black Lagoon. Uh, very cool. Um, Creature from Black Lagoon. Fun fact, I, I've been to where they filmed that movie. Um, it's in, I can't remember the exact name That's of the spring, right. but um, it's pretty cool. You can take like a, a glass bottom boat tour over it and you can see like the natural springs and stuff. It's very cool. Did they have a gill man like on this way? They did. They did this. Um, they had it, um, there's like a little museum where you can see they had like a couple other things like um, they had some, like a couple snakes that, are, that you would see in the, uh, the area. Um, um, what else? Yeah, a couple areas where like they they had this the the Gill Man um, mm -hmm. set up. Very cool. Uh, saw a few gators on that trip. It was pretty cool. Yeah, I um, haven't seen Creature from the Black Moon, which is weird because I if you guys follow me on Instagram, which I hope you do, I recently bought it. 
Yeah. Like along with the other Universal Monsters. We're gonna have Monster. to watch it. We're gonna have to go on a Universal Monster Marathon. Uh, yeah, they're, they're this, really this box is damaged. I didn't think it was damaged. I'll have to go back and look and make sure it was damaged um, before I rate the rate the seller. Um, the Wolfman's well, a fun. It's a fun. One. Yeah. Wolfman. Well, yeah, Wolfman's a fun one. Werewolves in general and are like fun. Like, there's a lot of good movies like American Werewolf in London. That one's mm -hmm. fantastic. I haven't seen The Howling, which is sad because I need I have the blue the double feature with the fog, so I need to see the the Howling. I think I'll I'll wait to see that when October starts. Cause I usually only a couple days away. Yeah, a couple days away. All right, and this last one, this is a pickup from seven bucks a pop. All right. Oh. So everyone knows they do their signature series. That gets me. <laughs> it's like oh no. And um, the most recent one they did for the kickoff of NFL season was they did the three NFL players. They did Lawrence Taylor, Amari Cooper, and Joe Montana. If you don't know me, uh, my name is Jax, pop guy, and I'm a 49er fan. So once I saw they were having Joe Montana on there, um, of course, I jumped on it. So what I have here is a signed Joe Montana. Oh, the GOAT! Joe Montana Funko Pop. Some people may not like that, um, but you know what? It's true. He's the GOAT. Um, I got the red signature, which is the 150 piece. Um, I really don't. I really didn't care which one I got. Joe Montana. I mean, if you're a 49er fan uh, and you collect Funko Pops, you gotta have the Joe Montana. And the best part about this is it's not like a uh, like one he just like one that doesn't have. Authentication. Yep, it's, it's authenticated. authenticated. That, that's it's what, completely that, real. I bought uh, three total signatures from the Seven Bucks of Pop signature series. I bought two Ron Perlman's, one for me, one for my dad, who loves Santa Ar Anarchy, and I bought Joe Montana. I, I never thought I would have signature pops, but like since they do the signature series and you get the guarantee that they're real mm -hmm. and they're packaged well, and you know they're pretty much going to be guaranteed to come to you in nice shape. I, I think why not? Um, get them because I mean, especially if it's a character you like, like the, the most recently on last Saturday, because it takes like about a week to get here. Mm -hmm. um, they had uh, one of the voice actors from Dragon Ball. I think oh, that thing sold out. Like they had like maybe two hundred of them. They sold out in like thirty minutes. Yeah, that, I mean, there was a, there was a guy on uh, Macari. Yeah, he was selling a uh, a, a funk. Sorry about that. We yeah. were uh, we're camera cut out on us. We don't know where it stopped at, but yeah. you were saying about um, uh, there there was a guy on Macari. He was selling a uh, I think it was like a ghost Funko Pop of Godzilla, the ghost one, uh, and it had Haru Nakajima, the original suit actor's uh, signature. Signature, and it was very uh, verified too, which which is very sad for me because I never got to meet the man before he passed away, but he. Yeah. All still a cool signature. That'd be still yeah, really cool. Yeah, it would. It would. All but, right. Yeah. I think so that, that is all for mine. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go just switch right into his. Here's the knife, my young Petawan. I'm not the young Petawan. You're the young Petawan. I am the. Ah, uh, you know what? Uh, but all these are Macari gonna be Macari pickups. But I'm gonna start with the Amazon, like the one that's in the Amazon packaging, just because it's kind of the bigger one. Yeah, yeah, it's the biggest one. Because I know exactly what each of these are. It's just. I don't know which one's which. Hey, while, we're, while he's opening this box, go ahead and into the comment section. It's now been two weeks of the football season. Who, who's your team? Who do oh. you, you think going to the Super Bowl? Let me know who you think is going to the Super Bowl from Bill Coach. Or paper. watch football. Or paper for you. I don't use, I'm not reading really oh. newspaper. Oh, look at that pink bubble wrap. I'll keep that pink bubble wrap, though. Ooh. Gently. Ooh, that looks cool. Oh, man. Now, this one, like, he did say he sold it a little loose. It looks like there's a few missing parts of it, but nice. Oh, they could be on, on the figure itself, but yeah. Uh, either way, it is the Scar-Faced. Yep, and it's a, it's a legit one. So, this is the Scar-Faced Predator from Concrete Jungle, the uh, video game that came out in, I think, 2005, so about a year after uh, AVP. Basically, what they did the story, the game is you just play a predator who, uh, it, like, it starts in the '30s. He destroys the city with his bomb, and he's like disgraced by his clan. And then he's stranded on an island, on a like a desolate planet with aliens on it, and he's kind of there to 
in isolation. Then several years, like a th like in 2030, the there's predators are getting taken and their uh, technology is being used. So what he's basically what the predators sent in to do is to like basically clean up hmm. their existence. Interesting. Uh, and th it is loo it is loose end packaging, just a little loose end packaging, just because the got the buyer did pose it out of the box. The so seller. The, the seller. seller, the seller, yeah, sorry. Uh, but either way, uh, it's definitely a predator that I'm excited to have. He, I love the video game series kind of predators, and I do love uh, just NECA's predator figures just in general. Are awesome. So yeah, that's, Very cool. that's Scarface. And so let's go with this well, this one, which is really well tied up. I think these two I know are ones I recently ordered. Oh my god! More bubble wrap in here for you. Gotta love the bubble wrap. Got a plastic bag. Jesus Christ! Well, it is well protected, so I don't know which one this. Ooh, I know which one this one is. Oh, no, no, this is, okay, so, here we got, just because Walmart is, in our areas, they're a little, they're, they suck at stocking, so I got these guys off of uh, Makari, it is the Skull Crawler from Godzilla vs. Kong, now, we don't know the capacity of what the Skull Crawler is going to play in the movie, because the movie's not out yet, uh, we'll be right back real quick, because the battery's about to die on the camera, yeah, our battery's about to die, we'll be right back, and we are back! Now we have a new battery, so luckily. But yeah, so as I was saying, this is the uh, Godzilla vs. Kong Playmates Skull Crawler. Now this is, uh, right now we don't know what capacity the Skull Crawler is going to be playing in Godzilla vs. Kong yet, because the movie isn't out yet, and it isn't going to come out till I think, May or March, I can't remember. But basically, this is uh, this is really cool. This is when the leaks happened for the Playmates toys. Uh, this was one I was definitely excited for because there really isn't like there's one other Skull Crawler figure, and it's not like it was with the Kong Skull Island line, and it was not articulated. It was just this little dinky little toy that uh, Lanyard did. Uh, but this guy uh, blows it out of the water. Like uh, it's it's a really cool figure. Really really good looking uh, Skull Crawler. The mold on it is pretty great. Uh, Comes with also a little vehicle called the H, the H evac evac I think, and basically what that is it is a uh, heavy is a heavy oh yeah heavy it is a hollow earth anti gravity vehicle so that kind of confirms with Godzilla vs Kong they're gonna be going into hollow earth which was a big thing that they did they showed it off in Godzilla vs uh, not Kong Skull Island they let us knew about it then they fully explored that in Godzilla King of the Monsters of where there is this ancient civilization that was in the uh, Hollow Earth. But yeah, Skull Crawler pretty cool. It's nice to have it uh, too, uh, to have the, the Skull Crawler. It looks really fantastic. Uh, but yeah, so that's the Skull Crawler. So, fantastic. That's sensational. Sensational, fantastic. I think he gets sick of me saying fantastic. He says fantastic a lot, and phenomenal. Phenomenal. Spectacular. You're not supposed to cut towards you, bro. Knife knowledge. Oh, come on. There we go. What's this one? This one is another Macari. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's a, this is another Macari pickup. Pretty much all three of these were Macari pickups. But we got the king of himself, the king himself, of the monsters at least. That's not good. That's not King Kong. Godzilla. King Kong about to smack Godzilla in this movie. Am I right, gamers? It actually looks pretty good. Like, that's a, th this is a pretty cool Godzilla design. A really good figure. Like, I think out of all the Playmates figures, the Godzilla figures were the least ones I was least excited for, just because they didn't look that good in the pictures. But, like, he looks... He doesn't look too bad, especially this one, because uh, if you also notice on the dorsal fins, it's actually translucent. It's actually a translucent yeah, plastic, uh, which is really cool. And he comes with a breath effect. He actually, like, he looks pretty cool because there are hints of, like, kind of paint detailing. Like, I want to assume, like, kind of dry brushing to bring out details of the sculpt. I mean, it is a pretty cool looking, a good, cool looking Godzilla figure, I think. I think generally, like, I got it just because I really didn't want to have uh, this new line. I didn't want to have not have a Godzilla figure in the line. 
even though his design ultimately has not changed up too much from King of the Monsters. But uh, anyway, and it's also cool because he comes with battle damage too, which I think is really nice. Uh, but yeah, those are pretty much all my pickups from Makari. Yeah. What was your favorite thing that we showed off today? Let us know in the comments. My personal favorite is probably Lens of the Joe Montana, because that one is, is really cool. Uh, uh, awesome to get a signature, a signed pop like that. Yeah. For me, oh, I'm going to have to go with the Scarface Predator. Like, yeah, that's that, that that's one's pretty uh, cool. That one's, I think, been on my list for a while to get, because, God, Predator figures can, like, older NECA God, Predator figures are deadly expensive. Like, especially yes. expensive. Especially ones that they discontinue. Like, a lot of the newer ones are really easy to find. But, so, okay. Alright. So, that's pretty much the end of the video. So, we thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, um, go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from us. And hit that bell notification so you get notified every time we upload a video. Uh -huh. um, probably, um, there, there probably won't be any pops. I got today on Makari, uh, but there will be some more on Makari, as always. So go take a look. Go see a peep. Go take a look, ski. You know what I'm saying? Um, the link for that will be in the description below, and also down there will be a link to our Instagram accounts. I'm obviously at Jack Pop Guy. I am GVK Collectibles. Yeah, so go ahead and follow us on Instagram if you don't already. Um, that's pretty much all for us today, and we will be guys seeing you guys next time.